Okay, here we've got a quadratic sequence. So we know it's quadratic because it goes plus 3, plus 5, plus 7, plus 9. And the second difference is the same. So the second difference is 2. It's going, so we add on 3, then we add on 2 more. So we add on 5, then we add on 7, then we add on 9. If we kept going, we add on 11, then 13. So the second difference is the same. So it's a quadratic sequence. And we need to find the nth term of a quadratic sequence now. So, because the second difference is 2, that means it's n squared, just 1n squared. What we do is we half the second difference. So, I'll write that down. Half the second difference. And then it's that many n squared. So, if the second difference was 4, it would be 2n squared. If the second difference was 6, it would be 3n squared. So we half the second difference. In this case, half of 2 is 1, so we've got 1n squared, or just n squared. Uh, we're going to write out the n squared sequence now. So n squared goes 1, then 4, 2 squared, 3 squared is 9, 4 squared is 16, 5 squared is 25. So we know that it's got n, this sequence has got n squared in it, so what we're going to do is we're going to take that off. So this was our original sequence. And we're going to take off the n squared. So we're going to minus that from it. So 2 minus 1 is 1. 5 minus 4 is 1. 10 minus 9 is 1. So we're getting 1 every time. So what's left after n squared? Just 1. So the sequence is n squared and then plus 1. So n squared plus 1. Okay, here's another example. So this time we've got plus 6, plus 8, plus 10, plus 12. So the second difference is 2 again. So we're going to half the second difference, which is 1. So it's 1 n squared. So just n squared. So I'll write out the original sequence first, um, 2739, and then n squared underneath it. So 1 squared, first term squared, 1, 2 squared, 3 squared, 4 squared, 5 squared. And then we're going to take off n squared and see what's left. So once we take off n squared, we've got 2, 5, 8, 11, 14. Um, so 2, 5, 8, 11, 14 is what's left after we take away the n squared. So then we look at this sequence, this new sequence after we've taken off n squared. We know the answer's got n squared in it, so we've taken that bit off um, and we've got a sequence going up in threes. So a 3n, 3n sequence, three times table which goes 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, and it's 3n minus 1. So we've got, after we took off n squared, we've got the sequence 3n minus 1, so the nth term is n squared and 3n minus 1. That's the answer. Okay, another example. So this time we go in plus 2, plus 6, plus 10, plus 14. So the second difference has actually got 4 difference every time. So we half the second difference, and that's 2 this time. So this is a 2n squared sequence. So we've got 2n squared. So we'll write the original sequence out. Then we're going to take off 2n squared. So 2 times 1 squared, 2 times 1 is 2. 2 times 2 squared, 2 times 4 is 8. 2 times 3 squared, 18. 2 times 4 squared, 32. 2 times 5 squared, 50. So we want to take away this from the sequence and see what's left. So minus 1 minus 5, minus 9, minus 13, minus 17. 
So we know we've got 2n squared in the answer, and we've got this sequence as well. So it's 2n squared, and whatever this sequence is. So it's going down in 4s, so it's a minus 4n. Minus 4n, right underneath, minus 4 times table. Minus 4, minus 8, minus 12, minus 16, minus 20. Minus 20, almost. Got the wrong number. Um, what have we got to do? from minus 4n to get to our sequence it's plus 3, 3 higher so plus 3 so the answer is we've got 2n squared and this sequence so 2n squared and minus 4n plus 3 that's the answer put it in the box okay here's 3 for you to try uh, pause the video and give them a go okay first one so we've got first difference of plus 3, plus 5, plus 7, plus 9, so the second difference is 2. So we half the second difference, which gives us 1, so we know it's 1n squared. So I write the original sequence, and underneath it I write n squared, which is 1, 4, 9, 16, 25. Take away the n squared, See what we've got left? So we've got 10, 10, 10, 10, and 10. So we've got n squared and we've got 10. So the answer is the first one. Where can I put it? n squared and 10. n squared plus 10. Okay, second one here. So I've got plus 6, plus 10, plus 14, plus 18. So the second difference here is a 4. So that means it's a 2n squared question. So a original sequence. Underneath it I'm going to write 2n squared. So double this one really, double the n squared. So 2, 8, 18, 32 and 50. And that is our actual sequence. So if I take it away I've got nothing left. So I've got nothing to add on, the answer is just 2n squared. Okay, so now we've got plus 7, plus 13, plus 19, and plus 25. So um, that's 6 every time. Plus 6. So if it's got plus 6, we half a second difference, and that makes it a 3n squared question. So 3n squared, so I'll write the original first. And underneath I'm going to write 3n squared, so 3 times n squared. So 3 times 1, 3 times 4, 3 times 9, 3 times 16, which is 48, 3 times 25, 75. Um, we're going to take away 3n squared. Because we know 3n squared is in the sequence, we're going to take that off, see what's left. That leaves us with minus 1, minus 3, minus 5, minus 7, minus 9. So this is a sequence going, it's our new sequence, we've got to work out. So it's going down in 2s, so it's minus 2n. And then minus 2 times table goes minus 2, minus 4 minus 6, minus 8, minus 10. What have we got to do to that? We've got to add on 1. Add on 1 to the minus 2 times table. So our sequence is 3n squared and minus 2n plus 1. So 3n squared minus 2n plus 1. That's the answer to the third one.